So next, uh, we'll simulate uh, JK flip flop. Uh, we'll verify the true table of JK flip flop using multisim tool. The true table, actually simplified true table of JK flip flop is uh, like this. JK flip flop is formed by uh, for SR flip flop, you can modify into JK flip flop by adding two and and gates here, so like this. So two and gates are used. One input is J here, and another input is actually shorted to Q bar. And similarly, at the down R, uh, R input is given with the uh, and gate, and one input is K, and another input is taken from Q and clock pulses are given here. So this is a modified version of SR flip-flop. By connecting this, this will convert it into JK flip-flop. So this is the uh, uh, SR flip-flop using uh, NAND gate. And by connecting uh, uh, NAND gates, one more NAND gates. So this is actually the uh, realization of JK flip flop using only NAND gates. So simplified two table is this. When J is equal to zero, K is equal to zero. Actually, no changes will take place even with the application of uh, clock pulses. If clock pulse is zero, no changes actually. With clock pulses also, actually, uh, if J and K are zero, no change will take place in the Q and Q bar. So what are the previous value? Same thing will be retained. So Q plus one is next state. Okay, QN is uh, previous state. So it will retain the uh, last state only. If you make J is equal to zero, K is equal to one with the presence of clock pulses, then actually it is going to reset the flip flop. So normal output Q becomes zero and Q bar is one. And when J is equal to one and K is equal to zero, it is going to set the flip flop. So next state will be set. Okay, and uh, for all these clock should be there. And last state is actually when J and K both are actually one one, then actually uh, Q bar uh, the next state will be the complement of the previous state. So suppose if it is zero, it is changed to one. If the previously if it is one, it is changed to zero, zero to one or one to zero. So depending on what is the previous uh, output, so it will just toggle its value. So let's just verify this. So just pick the components. We want a three input uh, NAND gate. So why we need three input here, I will show you why. Uh, because uh, in this diagram, only two inputs are there. OK, so if two inputs are there, what is the problem? I will tell you now. So go to place component. Then uh, go to all groups, all families, select all families. And here you type NAND. You'll get a three input, two input uh, NAND gates. So this is a NAND two is two input NAND gate. NAND three is three input. NAND four is four input. So we want NAND three. So click OK. So if you click OK, you can place uh, four times here one time, here one time, here one time, here one time. So four times you have to place. So after that, uh, we want probes. So again, probes, you can place component, then uh, gro all groups, all families. Then in the component, you type probes. So you can have a red color probe, a green color, orange color, red color, yellow color. So I picked the red color or uh, I think here blue color I selected. You can select any color, no problem. So click OK and place here. And these are for indicators. Whenever logic high is there, uh, the probes are going to glow. So you can assume that it's an LED. Whenever logic one is there, this LED is going to turn on. So this is just an indicator that logic high is there or logic low is there. Similarly, uh, we want uh, two digital interact uh, inputs to give the JK values. So for this, again, you have to go for place component, then select uh, 
a digital interactive group so it is in all groups and all families type here uh, interactive digital constant so type interactive immediately you will get uh, uh, interactive and digital constant so click ok you click ok I think two times you have to place here two times you have to place here so I already connected so if you uh, I am telling how to pick that tool so after that we want one clock a digital clock so for that you have to place you have to search here clock okay digital clock digital if you type digital you will get a digital clock okay so click ok so you have to place here after that you have to make the connection like this again uh, here two more uh, digital interactive switches are placed here so once you place one uh, this one you can copy the full thing you can copy like this the square box you can copy control C and control V so you can get like this and after that if you want to rotate control R so again you can do like this different direction you can do so like that you place uh, one two three four four digital interactives so after that uh, you can rename this one as J and this one you can rename as K and uh, to toggle that uh, to change that values we can select uh, which key for toggling so letter in the keyboard letter uh, K if you press the K button in the keyboard it will change the value from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 so like that you can select similarly this is set and reset actually so this one you can label as set label I will change it to as set and this one is reset okay and the value uh, to toggle 1 to 0 0 to 1 letter key is selected R for uh, reset button and for uh, K sorry for s uh, we use selected the key s so j is controlled by keyboard key j k is controlled by k button uh, or simply you can click there also so and two probes so you have to make the connection like this okay so connect the output of this one to here this one to here make a connection like this so you have to rig up the circuit as shown in the circuit diagram so now we will verify the two table so let, let us start with uh, 0 only ok now I am going to run this ok so now <coughs> actually if the previous value was uh, actually 1 1 as given so you have to click this R so first let us keep 1 1 here and 0 0 here ok now stop this and I will rerun ok now previous output was this one only now so I have given uh, j is equal to 0 ok <coughs> so j is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 so previous output was there so no change will be there so it is a now I am going to make uh, k is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 if I make k is equal to 1 then this should be 0 so already uh, it is reset only ok again you change this one to 0 so no change now if I make k is j is equal to 1 if I make j is equal to 1 the next state should be q should be set to 1 so I am clicking J. See, if I click J, it is going to Q is normal output, Q is uh, set, and Q bar is opposite of that. Okay. Once again, you put 0, 0, J, K, 0, 0, no change will take place. 0, 0, no changes, previous one only. Now, uh, I will put make once again K is equal to 1 so that uh, next state Q becomes 0. 
so i'll click on k so this is zero this one is q bar is one so after that so next <coughs> uh we'll go to j is uh, j is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 so that time the output should toggle the output is toggling 0 1 0 1 0 1 uh, it is toggling with high speed because uh, the clock we are taking as 10 kilohertz so the speed is actually toggling so you can set this one to 100 hertz or one uh, any frequency whenever clock pulse is there that time only it is going to now we make a digital constant uh, zero you give that time it will not toggle so whenever clock is there it is going to toggle uh, this is a true table verification so why actually uh, this extra inputs are taken here because once it is uh, one one now once it starts toggling you cannot go back see here i am going to change this one to again zero zero if i go into zero zero it is previous state toggling only so now if i make k is equal to 1 if k is equal to 1 actually q should 0 this should be uh, actually 1 but it is still it is toggling only so that's why either any one either yes sir uh, uh, either set or reset you have to change so in order to stop this toggling so i am going to click uh, reset here See now it is stopped. Again, make one. So now again, uh, see here k is equal to uh, one. No, so it is going to reset. Now change this one to zero, and k is equal to one means it is going to set the flip flop. Again, if I make both one one, again it will start toggling. Again, if you go back, okay, zero zero or zero one. It is in be continuous in the toggling only so that's why we are using extra two more inputs to stop it so now again you click this uh, and stop this so now you can see when j is equal to 1 q is equal to set and q bar is 0 so that's why we are using extra two inputs otherwise once it start toggling other uh, things it, it is actually not following so we are using extra even if you place uh, directly jk flip flop you have that input i will show you place component so directly you can get the jk flip flop the jk flip flop if i click here So you can see here there is a set button and reset button is there j flip flop as uh, j input k input q normal output q bar and set and reset is there so those are these pins okay so this is about uh, two table of jk flip flop